Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. By the way, before anything else, I just want to share to you that I wasn't able to upload videos for the past few weeks kasi nga yung battery ng laptop ko ay nasira, hindi na siya gumagana, nag-surrender na siya, in short. Okay. At ngayon na po nagkaroon ng chance na nakabili ng bagong battery kasi nga nag-sale yung Lazada from 3,000 Thailand baht ay bumaba siya ng 779 so ginagrab ko yung chance kasi baka 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 babalik siya ng mataas na presyo so yun tapos kakadating lang ng battery kanina ang hapon tapos na yun tinatry ko okay so sa pagtatry ko ay hiniisip ko pag hindi gumagana yung battery baka problema na yun sa laptop ko tapos yun gumagana siya tinatry ko ng charge tinatry ko na itcha charge tapos gumagana but I just want to share this to you especially sa mga gumagamit ng Dell na brand na laptop kasi pag pag on ko sa laptop ko after charging may nakita akong error sa screen. It's invalid partition table. So, nashock ako kasi akala kong magagamit ko na or nashock ako kung anong problema, bakit ganon. So, I tried to search um, ways on how to uh, fix that error on my laptop. So, na, na search ko, na try ko, tapos yun na fix ko na ang error kung paano siya isusolve. Okay? So, yun nga. Uh, especially to the Dell users, if you'll be able to experience that kind of error, so, invalid partition table. So, all you just need to do is like this. Yes, guys. By the way, before we proceed, I'm not sure if this is applicable to um, other types or brand of laptops but this is just for the Dell users okay so yeah let's proceed um, all you just need to do is to turn your laptop on or just press the power button after that all you just need to do is to um, press the F2 key just keep on pressing until this type of um, screen comes up okay and after that just go directly to the boot sequence this one the highlighted one and then from the legacy you need to untick the diskette drive okay and then you will proceed to the UEFI yes after pressing or ticking the UEFI, just click apply. After clicking apply, press control alt delete. Okay, hold on. One moment. Oh my god. Yeah. Control alt delete. Yes, that's it. After pressing control alt delete. It will restart your laptop. It will take like three to five minutes to turn on. So I hope that this would help if you would experience the same error. And then like that so that's it that's really quick and a hassle free okay so yeah that's it for today